Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm sporting my Marvel Contest of Champions t-shirt. You know, you know, there you go, right there. It's good that I got this from New York Comic Con 2019 before the world went to uh oh stinky poop. That was a global pandemic. So I'm pretty much up to speed on all of the stuff that has dropped over the next over the last kind of like few days the only thing that i haven't covered and there's a, there's two more videos that are going out tomorrow things that i wanted to get off the uh the slate kind of newsy related kind of reaction response information all that stuff so those are a battleground sandbagging situation and something about alliance yeah alliance coverage as well from the live stream and then that's done and then we can get into some other there's some other kind of stories for the mcn for monday uh, and then i can do side quest totals which will be the video that will be second on monday but there's one thing that i've just ran out i just ran out of time on friday to cover because i felt the live stream was kind of the most important thing to, to cover and that's what i did so this is probably going to be the final video on fun in the sun if you remember, we, we've talked about so many things, the economy and how it kind of like impacted the uh, the way that, you know, there's now a big, big gap between those that are free to play and those that are uh, whales of the game or spenders. But one other thing was uh, some bugs. Look, this, this particular Fun in the Sun event was not handled in a great way. There was stuff when it came to the store, the online online web store, that just wasn't there. It just wasn't in the same way that say Cyber Weekend uh, deals kind of worked, which if you remember, they run for seven days and they're normally rooted into uh, the store section like here and then under one of the taps. And that's how, you know, a, a great store is run. The same way that this kind of a store with the uh, spider bots is run. It's a great store because it's simple. It's seven days running and things just kind of like uh, easy to kind of grab, explained well enough. They've got the um, uh, the progression titles next to them. So you know what you're getting involved with. And at the same time, it's clear. Yes, the web store did not have that. But also there was the solo event. And the thing is, it was just, like, it was just confusing. Because you thought that as soon as you got a pop-up of a deal, you buy the deal. And then it would come back again. So you'd have a chance to rebuy them again. And that was not the case. Because how this worked was like you clicked on the thing and not like that, but you know, clicked on one of the, the, the things that were there, the pop up for the deal. And you had to then, well, as soon as you bought it, you went into the next tier, you extended your timer. So that was weird. And I didn't like the way that was put together. And it was a bit disappointing in how it was uh, was run. And it's something that I think Kabam will learn lessons of. I know, I know that Kabam came across like, Oh, you know, trying. We've got to try new things in order to freshen up the game. And it's like players are like, "Oh, don't try these things out." You know, blah, blah, blah. but look, there's some things that work well, and some things that don't. And if you're planning stuff, if you're a member of Kabam watching this, and you're looking to plan something, just think about how things haven't worked from a clear perspective, making it clear for players. I'm not saying don't try what they tried here, like with the solo event, which is going to, is the main topic of this video. But if you're doing it, make sure it's clearer. Make sure to have a store that goes into here where you click a tab and it runs for seven days. So therefore, it's easier for players to get involved with it. Maybe Kabam decided from like a, a monetary point of view in order to kind of like make sure people were spending all their money quickly that, you know, you spend all your money, you get all your units, you then put it in and you got that limited 48 hour window to make decisions. I don't know. I'm not going to assume that's the case. But it felt like, why couldn't they do like what they did at Cyber Weekend? Because it worked and worked really well. Versus what they did with here with having this messy solo event. Uh, well, not messy solo event. It was messy deals. Messy timers associated with it. And the solo event breaking. Which, as I said, is the main topic of this video. So let's get to the point, right? We got an issue. or We had an issue with the, the solo event. I decided after the first 48 hours, I can't be bothered with the way this is put together. And I'm now focusing on Cyber Weekend because I know what I'm getting with that one. We've we've saw what 2022, um, you know, gave us. Fingers crossed Kabam run it the same way they did before because it was just great. Uh, so that's where I'm prioritizing my grind at the moment. And I've got to get involved with Arena. Got to do Battlegrounds. Got to do Act 8.2. So many things. Incursions because I love incursions. So many things I need to do in game at the moment. So, um, so yeah, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I catch up um, in the next couple of weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, I think. And then I'll be kind of like at a point where I'm just chill. And I can just get grinding more arena and prepare for Act 8.3. But moving on. 
Seven day solo event missing. This was a big issue for players. My seven day fun in the sun solo event is missing. Has this disappeared for anyone else? Mine's gone. And yeah, it was, uh, for, it just, honestly, it was just weird. It was weird because then some players were like, well, am I pushing the button right now to when I'm buying? People, of course, the more you went through, you got extended timers, which we, we said about. Pfft. It was a weird one. My event just showed back up, but I have no progress. I'm on my third purchase and zero on the event. So people were spending money and not getting anything. I bought 750 units worth. I thought, well, 750 units on some things that were helpful. I think it was more seven star shards. Get me closer to my next seven star, which is important for doing a shooting star quest. So it was a small investment to a small gain because there was nothing else there that was kind of like tantalizing uh, or teasing me. I was thinking about doing 3000 units more, but then I just didn't have the time. I needed to focus on other priorities in my life and also uh, in game. But picking up the Paragon crystals weren't very good either. I was disappointed with what I picked up from them, but I had some free ones from the shooting star quest. Uh, what was it? Chat? No, not chat. Yeah, yeah chapter two. Yeah, I think it's chapter two that I was I was doing, which is but well, not chapter two, sorry. Quest three and quest four hundred percenting. I can't do quest five and six because I haven't got another seven star because thanks, Kabam. That's already that. Anyway, it's offers. I'm not able to get the offers. Why? Same here. Solo bonus rewards disappeared for hours, then showed up again. I bought three during that period, no rewards for me. I guess this is a thing I do sympathize with people if you're spending your money. Um look it's up to you where you spend spend your money. I, I, I said to myself, Rich, don't spend anything. Like, don't don't kind of like buy anything. You know, I've just got obviously this new job, so you know things are kind of like are okay. If I wanted to have a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a splurge on something, kind of like I think it's the wrong choice, but a splurge, a splurge on something, uh, you know, frivolous or interesting. And then I was like ch checking on Twitter as you do, and this popped up. X-Men 97, if you don't know the cartoon, it's a continuation of the 90s animated um, series. Uh, Wolverine's Adamantium Claw Lego. And I was like, I saw this and I just thought, oh my God, no. It's got, it's it's 18 plus, of course. Uh, 596 pieces. And I was thinking, this would just be, I, I, I was like, don't do it, don't do it. And I was like, damn it, I'm going I'm gonna go and get it when it comes out. Because I could just like, stick, I stick it up there. Um, with uh, some of my other collectibles, uh, I honestly should not do it, but like, I don't, I don't, I just think it like, oh god, depends on the cost. Like, that's the other thing, like, depends on how much it costs. So, everybody has their own vices and everything, kind of like, uh, you know, everybody purchases whatever they want. And if spending in MCC makes you happy, it makes you happy. As I've always said, it's not down to players falling out of players, this is down to Kabam of how they create a fair ecosystem for competitions for progress and how they look at content creation because free to play may not have the same kind of experience as other players. They may or may not do, but look, it's something that's on Kabam. It's not for players to fall out with each other, appreciate each other, respect each other. Uh, you know, we're, we're all in uh, this together. We're all passionate players and them's is the facts. So yeah, what is happening? Like that's the that's the thing. Where's where's Kabam's response on people spending money and not getting what they um you know, not getting the points cuz like they've basically lost out. So, uh Kabam Jack says there was a hiccup this morning. So this was July 6th, so that was uh was that a Friday? Was that Oh, it was worse. It was this Thursday. Huh, there you go, Thursday. Even worse. Uh, there was a hiccup this morning, and I think it was late Thursday, so this is why I didn't put it in the Friday's MCN. As a result, summoners are no longer able to accumulate points in Fun in the Sun solo event as of 10 a.m. PT this morning. So that was 6 p.m. UK time Thursday. The team is aware of it and have a solution locked and loaded. Resetting the event would reset summoners' progress, and that's certainly not ideal. The back end is still tracking contributions towards the event. It is not attributing them towards milestones so the team is going to take all that information later uh the event ends after the event ends and distribute all the rewards 
from any missing milestones. So don't worry, you'll still get your milestone rewards. Summoners are still able to contribute points and the event will remain visible in game until 10 a.m. PT on July 7th, which is now gone. Any 48 hour timers from tiered offers should still extend beyond the end of the event as intended. However, the points will not contribute to the solo event. Oh, we're working on getting an in-game message created and distributed to inform players. Uh, our apologies for the inconvenience. Thank you for your patience. So I, I don't know. Did that message go out in-game? I want to say it did. Um, I'm just having a look now, actually. Because I can't remember it kind of like being... being. It probably probably did. Summer sale correction. Oh, yeah. Th there we go. There we go. So that kind of like mentions it uh, there. So it's on screen. Uh, apologize for inconvenience delay. Thank you for your understanding. We apologize for any language in this message is unclear. It was translated via third party automation in order to um, alert you as quickly as possible. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever rewards sent to them as soon as the conclusion of the event. So that g gives you an idea, right? Gives you an idea on that particular subject. Um, yeah, that's really a it's disappointing to see these events uh, go the way they did. But as I said, the problem with this is like it should have been. Like, it should have, in case there's a solo event attached to it. I don't know. I don't think so. Because then it's like, well, it's extra work for Kabam. I know Kabam want to try new things out. But at the same time, if they try these new things out, which, again, it's fun. We all get it. But it's not like it went with a seven-star celebration event. It's like, this is very different. When it comes to July 4th deals, Cyber Weekend deals, it is... It goes back to, uh, like, a management, uh, you know, technique. You know, we used to practice back in the day. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. And it's like sometimes keeping it simple when there's complexities and as well people spending money, hard earned money, it's important to do this because every time that there's this mistake and people feel that they're losing out, could lose out, did lose out, it's one less person that spends money. And look, and if people will stop spending money if they kind of feel like people want to buy stuff in game. That's cool, right? Sports game keeps game going. But at the same time, these deals need to be made sure that if they're running anything on the side, like a solo event, that they're done to a point that they are efficient, effective, and work. Because if it don't work, we're left with situations like this where people are asking for compensation. Well, not asking for compensation. They're not, not begging for it. But people then should expect to get back what they put in from the in-game rewards that they, um, you know, are, are buying. In any case, what are your thoughts on this situation? Do you want to see Kabam tackle some more kind of like, you know, uh, sort of difficult stuff like they've done but haven't really worked out? Uh, would you like them to kind of do a more simplified way of doing the July 4th deals with no extras to it and encouraging people to spend upwards of 36 unit, 36,000 units? Great if it was 36 units or more. Your thoughts in the comments section. Check out some other content located on the screen and I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.